welcome back again in this section we are going to look into hyperledger blockchain ecosystem in previous section we have learned how blockchain works what is blockchain structure looks like what are smart contracts and what are the different types of consensus algorithm in this section we are going to look into hyperledger blockchain ecosystem which includes the family introduction design philosophy and framework architecture of hyperledger fabric so what is hyperledger fabric so before that let us see what hyperledger is so hyperledger is an open source community focused on developing a suite of suit stable frameworks tools and libraries for enterprise grade blockchain deployment it serves as a neutral home for various distributed ledger frameworks tools and libraries so hyperledger fabric fa hyperledger family comprises of distributed ledgers libraries tools and domain specific projects inside distributed ledger we have many couple of them are listed here first one is hyperledger besu besu is a distributed ledger sorry it is a distributed ledger software and is an ethereum client designed to be enterprise friendly for both public and private permission network use cases next is hyperledger bureau it is a complete single binary blockchain distribution focused on simplicity speed and developer ergonomics hyperledger fabric hyperledger fabric is the main focus of this course and in a nutshell hyperledger fabric is a distributed ledger software and it is intended as a foundation for developing applications or solutions with a modular architecture we we'll look more into this in the coming sessions hyperledger indi it is a distributed ledger software and indi provides tools libraries and reusable components for providing digital identities hyperledger iroha it is designed to be simple easy to incorporate into infrastructural or iot projects requiring distributed ledger technology hyperledger sawtooth this is a distributed ledger software again that helps smart contracts to specify business rules for applications without needing to know the underlying design of the core system in libraries category we have hyperledger aries this provides a shared reusable interoperable toolkit designed for initiatives and solutions focusing on creating transmitting and storing verifiable digital credentials hyperledger quilt quilt is a java implementation of interledger protocol enabling payments across any payment network hyperledger transact this aims to reduce the development effort in writing distributed ledger software by providing a standard interface for executing smart contract hyperledger ursa ursa is a shared cryptographic library it enables implementations to avoid duplicating other cryptographic work thus increasing the security in the process under tool section you have hyperledger avalon this is a tool it aims to enable the secure movement of blockchain processing of the main chain to dedicated to computing resources hyperledger calipo is a blockchain benchmark tool it measures the performance of blockchain implementation with a set of predefined use cases hyperledger celo this facilitates creating blockchain as a service hyperledger explorer this is a web app tool used to view invoke deploy or query blocks or transactions 
and the associated data or network information. Next, we have domain specific projects and Hyperledger Grid is one of the domain specific project in Hyperledger blockchain ecosystem. This intends to provide reference implementation of supply chain. In this slide, you can see what are the Hyperledger projects which comes under the category distributed ledger, library, tools, domain specific and you can also see their status whether they are already in active or whether, in, whether they are still in incubation state. So Hyperledger design philosophy. As you can see in the slide, many companies have adapted Hyperledger because of its design, meaning it is highly modular in nature and its governance is very transparent. So that is the reason many of the companies have already adopted Hyperledger. So Hyperledger framework architecture. Hyperledger focuses on these main business blockchain components. That are, those are consensus layer, smart contracts, database, peer networking, security, and many more. In this slide, you can see the main business blockchain components and the key functionalities and responsibilities of those business blockchain components. Please go through this slide to know the business blockchain components that we have mentioned and the responsibilities of those components. We will learn a couple of the uh, blockchain component as we move ahead learning Hyperledger fabric. So each of these blockchain components is itself a topic to discuss because some of the topics like identity services, API or uh, smart contract layer or consensus. So they form a, a, a topic itself which we will be discussing in terms of Hyperledger fabric specifics. So there are many consensus algorithm that Hyperledger community is working on to cater to various business requirements. Two major types of consensus are permission lottery based algorithm and permissioned voting based algorithm. Each of these types have their own implementation. For example, permission lottery based algorithm has the implementation proof of work and proof of elapsed time and permissioned voting based algorithm has RBFT and Paxos. This slide lists the Hyperledger framework and the consensus algorithm that we use currently and the pros and cons of those consensus algorithm. Please have a look at this slide to understand different Hyperledger framework and the consensus algorithm that is used. The main focus for this and the next upcoming les uh, lessons are Hyperledger Fabric. We will discuss the consensus algorithm that is used in detail in the upcoming lecture. Here is a small test for you to gauge your understanding of the concept so far. Please try answering it and I'll see you in the next section. Please do subscribe for our private coaching sessions to learn more. Thank you.